Welcome to State of Tech. My name's Jared, and today we're gonna to take a look at upgrading our device, our uh, iPhone in particular, to iOS 11. Now this process is gonna be exactly the same for upgrading an iPad, and today is iOS 11 day. You may be watching this a little bit further down the road, but if you're planning to update your iPhone to iOS 11 or your iPad, there are some steps that I highly recommend that you take. First, before you update or do anything, you want to make sure that your phone is backed up. So the process to do that is pretty simple. Go into settings, tap on, there's a bar up at the top that uh, shows your name. It says Apple ID, iCloud, iTunes, and all that. If you're on an older version, prior to iOS uh, 10, then you are going to want to uh, scroll down to where it says iCloud. There's a slightly different step. I actually have a video for uh, last year's version and we'll link to that in the description. So if you're not seeing what I am showing you right now on the screen, you might, you might wanna go and watch the older video because there's a slightly different process. But once you get into the menu here, you're gonna see uh, the iCloud right here. So you tap on iCloud and it's gonna show you how much storage you have used up and then it's gonna show all of the apps and everything that are syncing to iCloud. So iCloud works not only just to back up your, your phone, uh, but it backs up the apps and the data within the apps on your phone. This is super important because if something happened to your phone or perhaps you wanted to buy a new phone, you can go and sign into iCloud and restore from a backup. And that's pretty cool because then your phone is pretty much the exact same as it was when you had left off previously. So that's why it's extremely important to back up your phone first. You can see here that uh, some of these are toggled on and off, and depending on what you want backed up, you would wanna make sure that uh, these apps using iCloud were either all toggled on, or maybe you toggle some of them on and off. So if you scroll down, you can see where it says iCloud backup on. Now iCloud is going to automatically back up when it can, usually when your phone is plugged into power and maybe in the middle of the night when your phone is, is uh, the screen is off and it's sitting on your nightstand. Um, but we're gonna wanna make sure we have the most recent backup done. So tap backup now and it's gonna go through the backup process. The reason you would wanna do the most recent backup is so that any missed call data or text messages or app updates or anything that you've done since that last update gets updated here. Uh, so it's gonna run you through that process depending on whether or not this is the first time you've done this or not, it could take a little bit of time to back up. So make sure that you're plugged into power as I am here so that uh, it doesn't drain too much of your battery life. When we go to download and install iOS 11, we are going to need to make sure that we have at least 50% battery life on the phone or you're gonna need to be plugged in. You're also gonna wanna make sure that you have enough storage left on your phone to install the software update. The software update is pretty big. So if you're on an older phone, such as a 16 gigabyte phone, uh, maybe even a 32 gigabyte phone, if you have a lot of photos and a lot of stuff on that device, and you don't have a lot of space left over, you're not gonna be able to run the update and it's actually gonna fail on you. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have enough space. Uh, and I'll show you a couple of, of, of ideas or tips on how you can free up a little bit of space should you need to. So that backup is almost already done, so we're just gonna let that finish, and it is finished. We'll tap back to go back um, all the way to our main setting screen, and that's really all that we need to do uh, to back up our phone. Now, if you have a lot of stuff on your phone, let's actually go look at, under the general tab here and under about, it's gonna show us how much available space there is on this phone. Now this phone has about 212 gigabytes of available space, which is way more than enough space to install the update. You're gonna need probably around three or four gigabytes total to run the update uh, and have the phone go through all of its processes and not, and not come close to running out of space. So now what we're gonna do is go back into our settings menu and we're gonna click on that general tab again. Uh, now under that general tab, the second item is software update, and it's gonna check for the software update. We'll click download and install, and it's gonna automatically ask for your pin code on your phone so that it can install once it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that, and it's gonna begin downloading uh, after we click agree twice. 
or after it gets done downloading, it will go ahead and run the software update. And then when we're done, we'll be presented with a welcome screen. Uh, it's gonna require us to put in our pin code again, maybe even unlock with a thumbprint. Uh, and then of course our device will be ready to go. So I'm not gonna make you sit and uh, through this entire process. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward and cut to this being completed here. All right, so the installation process has completed and the phone has restarted. And I see a message on the screen here that says, press home to finish settings or setting up iOS 11. And so I'll go ahead and do that. It's wanting the passcode. So we'll go ahead and enter the passcode. And it says update complete tap continue and then it's going to ask for uh, your Apple ID there's a few things that it's going to walk through to have you set up uh, just to get logged back in so once you get logged in with your iCloud password it's going to update your iCloud settings and basically just set up your iCloud account uh, now for iOS 11 so iPhone analytics you can share those with Apple or not this is all uh, stuff they take care of your privacy and everything this is just letting them uh, know a little bit about your phone so that they can better develop phones and then same with app analytics this sends a little bit of data back to developers to let them better develop their apps and then welcome to the iPhone get started and we are there so as you can see now we are running iOS uh, 11 if you want to verify that we can go, I mean, you could tell by the fonts, the entire font system changed uh, to a new font. So you can tell that you're running iOS 11. But if we go down here, we can see we're running iOS 11 and uh, that everything is set up. So pretty cool. Uh, definitely looks uh, really interesting. Um, I like to spend some time with it. I think that uh, iOS 11 definitely brings uh, a couple of cool things that are going to be useful. Um, even just to pre-existing iPhones, obviously we're going to see the biggest changes in iOS 11 with the iPhone 10, uh, and it's totally different uh, interface as far as you know working with um, touch and uh, you know unlocking with your eyes and all that cool stuff. But nonetheless, your phone is now updated and you're ready to go. If you really want to, you can go ahead and do a new iCloud backup, which will start the process of just backing everything up again. Of course, that will take place as normal as you back up your device, uh, as you plug in your device at night and let it charge. So if you have any questions about backing up or about uh, updating to iOS 11, you can ask them in the comment section below. It is a pretty cut and dry process, but should this process have failed somehow and there been some sort of a problem to where you would end up having to restore your phone uh, or do this update process again, having that backup in the iCloud definitely is, uh, is gonna save you in situations like that. As I mentioned at the very beginning, you can update uh, or you can back up your iPhone using iTunes by connecting directly to your computer, but that process is a little bit uh, more time consuming and it's so much easier just to use iCloud. And now of course we have a backup, which I think is extremely important that you're backing up your device. And as long as that backup is turned on, you're continuously gonna be getting backups uh, of your iPhone. And if you have any problems, broken iPhone, stolen, lost, damaged, even just go and buy a new iPhone, it, the restore process is gonna be extremely easy. So thanks so much for checking out this video. We've included a couple of links uh, below to this uh, external charger here, which is fantastic. You can charge your iPhone a couple of times or an iPad at least one and a half times with this thing. It's a 20,000 milliamp power bank uh, for your phone. It has two USB outs on it so you can charge even a couple of things at the same time. It's fantastic, and we were using it the whole time to charge uh, our iPhone here as we did this update process. So check out the links in the description below, and if you like this video, click thumbs up, and if you wanna see more videos from us, click on that subscribe button, because that helps you get notified when we put out new videos. Thanks again, and we hope to see you back here soon on State of Tech.